While it's February and Anthony's here, and that means only one thing, it's time to open another keto box. And there, there, there better be another meat stick in here. I will be disappointed <laughs> if there's not one in here. We're gonna open this thing up right after this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. You ready for this? Yes, and like I said, there better be a meat stick or I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> so if you're new to our channel, this is the Keto Box. It's a monthly subscription box. Uh, we order it every single month. We actually pay for this box and uh, it's got like 10 to 12 different treats in there, different things you can try that may be new or they've been around. But the nice thing about it is, is you get to try things without buying an entire case of them. If you don't know, maybe you're new to our channel. This is Anthony. This is our middle son. He is not keto, but he has a very good palate. Mm -hmm. And so every month he sits down at the keto box and we're going to eat everything or not eat the whole thing, but try everything that's in this box. And you're gonna get the perspective from me, a keto person, and one from a non-keto person. Yes. So you ready for this? Yes. Okay, so by the way, Anthony, if you're new to our channel, loves meat sticks, and the last couple of months, there's been no meat sticks. So uh, what we're gonna do while Anthony is pulling everything out is we go through the whole box, we're gonna try it, we're gonna tell you how much it costs, go over the ingredients, and then also go over the macros on it. So what's it first? And Anthony decides what we're gonna eat. All right. Raspberry dark chocolate by Chalk Zero. Awesome. It's in a the shape of a rose for Valentine's Day. Now we actually got one of those in another box, but this one is the white, white chocolate. Cho I don't like white chocolate. So this is dark chocolate. Unfortunately, I think most of them are sold out, but I will leave a link down below if you want some other stuff from Chalk Zero, because we have a coupon code for them. All right, so ingredients. Dark chocolate, which is just unsweetened chocolate and cocoa butter. Soluble corn fiber, non-GMO resistant dextrin, sunflower lecithin, dry raspberry, monk fruit extract, Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans. Okay. So there are three servings in this container. Mm. So there are, it's 110 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat, 15 total grams of carbohydrates, 13 grams of fiber, and no other, there's no sugar alcohol. So it makes it two net carbs. Okay. Let's try this thing. Oh, they really taped it like that, huh? I got a pair of scissors. Don't stab yourself. It sound like they had, you're gonna shoot your eye out. You're gonna cut your finger off. BB, Red Rider BB gun. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, that would oh, make wow. sense as to what. Okay. That totally got me. Okay, hold on. I thought the rose was this so big. So I thought the rose was this big because this is how it looks. We have to this up. Yeah. This is how this looks. So I thought you were telling me that that was, so this is what it looks like. That, that that's totally, a decent That thing totally now. got me. Okay. Okay, when I, when I said three servings, I was like, no shot, but whatever, okay. Oh, that's too small. Oh, okay. That's a little too big. Here, have this one. <laughs> okay. I don't smell the raspberry, but. Mm. Oh, wow. That's good. Wow. Mm. That, that is a lot of raspberry. This is really good. I love raspberry. Raspberries are better than blackberries. Changed my mind. Mmm. What, what's your favorite berry? Raspberry, blackberry, strawberry, blueberry. Price on that is five bucks, but again, it? they may be sold out. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put a link for it down below. What's next? It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's a lot of chocolate. It must be because Valentine's. Valentine's Day. So this is the Good Sam. Be an ally for small farms, dark chocolate mint. Ooh. Okay. It tastes like a thin mint, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, ingredients are dark. I like the packaging. Yeah. This is like, it's like a paper, paper kind of packaging. I like, it's like really cool logos. So the ingredients are dark chocolate, which is cocoa mass, allulose, 
Then we have cocoa butter, mint oil, and sunflower less. And that is some clean ingredients. I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. So it says our chocolate is sweetened with allulose. It is on the nutritional panel as a carbohydrate, but is it deducted using net carbs? Okay, so here we go. We have, there are two servings in the bar. I can get behind that. 150 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat, 25 total carbohydrates. Um, there is only six grams of fiber. And then they have 18 grams of allulose. So it is a lot of allulose. One thing about allulose, allulose is only 70% as sweet as sugar. So it tends to need a lot of it yeah. to sweeten it. Uh, one thing that's also cool about allulose is allulose has been known to actually lower your blood sugar. Hmm. So it's one of the better sweeteners on keto. And uh, I'm excited about this. One net carb per serving. So if you eat the entire bar, it's two net carbs. But again, this is one of the reasons that Rachel and I always recommend that if you're gonna follow a net carb protocol, make sure you do a total carb cap. So do 20 net carbs, but say, I'm not gonna have any more than like 40 or 50 or 30 total carbs. Otherwise, like if this bar, if you did 50 total carbs, that's it. That's all your carbs yeah. for the day, okay? Oh, well. I like that. It's like a little Hershey bar. Mm. Mm. At first, the it mint... It tasted really good. The farther you go along, though, yeah. it tastes more like a mint, and it tastes kind of like a cleaner. The first hit was like Andy's candies. Mm -hmm. And then it's got... Ooh, yeah, no. It's got a weird after it taste. Me. It's got a weird after. It's not bad, but it's not good. I mean, no. you're following up that bar. But again, this is much cleaner ingredients. This, this is sweetener and chocolate. So. I'm going to say this. They shouldn't have done mint oil. Why would you do oil? Just go get mint. Go get the plant mint and blend it up and then put it in there. <laughs> Why would you do oil? Who wants to eat a mint? I would eat it. I would go off of the plant and I would pick it and eat the mint. Usually you would put a peppermint oil in there. Yeah. But like e even when I would, if I'd make ice cream and I wanted a mint ice cream, I'd put some chocolate and i put a ton of mint in there. Okay. Okay. So I would just put the mint in there and just blind, blend it up really You're nice. pretty passionate about this. Yes. Okay, uh, price on oh. that bar is $3.79. So yeah, we did bad. open up the box just to see what was in there. And again, you know what? Honestly, I have to say, it's clean ingredients. Um, so it's not bad for clean ingredients. I mean, cleaner than pretty much any other bar out there. There's no fibers or anything added. So I'd, I'd like to taste one that's not mint and go Same. from there. Okay, what's next? Okay, so there's two. I, I had pre I had to open it and make this stuff because okay. that's just how I have to do it. I didn't realize there was two different flavors. I thought Yeah, I handed you one flavor and we but we okay. don't need to try both flavors. Well hold on, they're different. They're different. This is chocolate macadamia nut and this is vanilla. These are two drastic different flavors. But my feeling is is you can judge any protein shake by its vanilla. If the vanilla is good, they're all gonna be good. So, okay, I'm, so if the vanilla is good, can we have the chocolate macadamia? We, we can try it. So this is from Health Cub. I, I'm I, reading I it. know you're reading it, but I just wanted to tell people this is from Dr. Ben Bickman, and it is a nutritional shake. It's a meal replacement shake from Dr. Ben Bickman. Okay, right. so now you can there you, go. you can have the floor. All right, so serving size is one packet. There's 400 calories, 27 grams of fat, 13 total grams of carbs, 9 grams of fiber, 2 total grams of sugars, and there is, okay, so they're not alcohol. So it's 13 minus nine is four. Four. So it's four t net carbs. Okay, can I just see this though? Because I want to make sure, see if there's anything in here that you can deduct that they're not letting you deduct. Resistant dextrin. Um, okay, no, I, I was looking for some acacia gum, but I do not see any. Okay. All right, so the ingredients is a protein blend, which is whey protein concentrate, grass-fed collagen and egg whites, healthy fats blend, which is coconut oil powder, olive oil powder, medium chain triglycerides powder, flaxseed powder, coconut butter fat, and grass-fed ghee, digestin-resistant maltodextrin, digestin-resistant dextrin, sodium castanate, natural flavors, apple cider vinegar powder, sunflower lecithin, inulin, Redmond Real Salt, shout out, xanthan gun, digestive... Di wow. Digestive enzyme blend, which is alpha and beta amylase, protease 1, protease 2, lepis, lactase, I don't even know that word, cellulase, invertase, I'm losing it, 
They're Steve, all vitamins. Stevia leaf extract, monk F extract, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this last one. It, Lactobacterius acidophilus. Who knows that? Why? <laughs> okay, so basically this is similar to a keto chow. Uh, just a little bit different product from Ben Bickman. Uh, the big difference is going to be that this has the fat in it. Whereas keto chow, you're gonna add your own fat, which means you get to determine your own calories. And I'm gonna go get oh, it. Oh, you made it already, okay. Do you have ice in there? No, it's the shaker. So how did you have to make this? Water. How much water? Eight ounces. Eight ounces. Wow, that's a big difference from a, a keto chow shake. It doesn't taste like vanilla. It tastes like birthday cake. It does taste like birthday cake, but it's it's some. It's not bad. Okay, can I get my opinion? My opinion is it it actually has a good taste. It does, but it's very thin, which means it's you not, get to try this. But it's not it's not like thick. Right, it, it, it's not bad, but I feel like I'm not getting a lot and it's very thin. Like there's no way I'm watering that down. Like I will water down a keto chow. Mm -hmm. Like when you look at this bottle for a keto chow, it's funny we're putting Ben Bickman's thing in a keto chow bottle. It's all we have. You're supposed to fill it to here with water after you add your fat and your powder and I fill it all the way to the top and it's still very thick. That was it, that's all you get. And I feel like you can't water that down anymore. No. Um, but it, it tastes good. The ingredients are really good. And if you're curious, that digestion resistant maltodextrin is not the maltodextrin that you normally see. You do this, I'm gonna go make Your it body uh, is not gonna digest that. That is actually a decent product. And while we're waiting for Anthony, who is insistent on making the other one, uh, the price on these is $60 for 15 meals. So $4 a meal. Um, I don't know, not too bad considering the fats in there. So we're gonna wait for Anthony to come back. Okay, so let me ask you while you're shaking this. So this is $4 a serving, but remember it includes the fat. Yes. Um, keto chow, if you buy the big bulk bag is like, I think it's gonna come in somewhere around 375 a shake when you add your own fat. So this or keto chow, based on the texture, how much you get, the flavor and everything. Probably keto chow still. For me, I'm disappointed with the volume. You know, Rachel and I, we are all about volume. Ooh, that one's a lot better. That one tastes like hot chocolate. That one tastes good. I like that one better. That is good. That one's better. That is pretty See, good. your logic was wrong. That's better than the vanilla. Okay. That's better than the vanilla. I'm okay. gonna say that. I'm wrong. Thank you. you. You don't have a father admit that to their child very often. I was wrong. There you go. Okay, what's next? We, this is another thing we had to make. This is the Omega Bun, a delicious and healthy alternative to bread. This is a banana muffin. It was a mix. And this came, this, the, this package made six muffins. I did see on their website that it actually makes 12 when you buy it. So let's see, dry mix, add a quarter of a cup of warm water, two large eggs at room temperature, two tablespoons of coconut oil or melted butter. What do we use? I use melted butter. Melted butter, okay. The ingredients are organic golden flaxseed meal, monk fruit sweetener, which is a resveratrol and monk fruit extract, organic psyllium, organic stevia blend, which is a resveratrol, organic rebe stevia, natural flavors, organic chia seed powder, baking soda, cream of tartar, natural banana flavor, gum acacia, maltodextrin, natural flavors, pink Himalayan salt and cinnamon. They had me until the maltodextrin at the end and the mm. banana flavor. Like it's a powdered flavoring obviously and it can be done without maltodextrin. So why did they have to go ahead and use a flavoring that has maltodextrin? That is a little disappointing. It is a woman owned business. So that's pretty cool. Made here in Ohio. Are you ready? Oh, wait, nutrition, right? Six servings per container, but it's actually 12. This is a sample size, not for resale. Yes. A serving size is one muffin per uh, prepared per package. I like that. So the, uh, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna go by. We're not gonna go by dry mix. So each one is 120 calories. It is uh, nine grams of fat. It is four grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, six grams of dietary fiber, which is all coming from like flax seed and psyllium husk, so that's all good stuff. And then six sugar alcohols. So they are saying 
It is zero net carbs. I'm gonna tell you to round it up to one. Um, but at least it's good ingredients with the exception of the maltodextrin at the very, very bottom. Yeah, I did I did actually make six. So it does make the amount, usually you make something that's like yields 20 cookies and then you get like 15 because they lied to you. Okay. Because they like stretched it like an elf is eating it. Like who's only got half I'm, the appetite. I'm interested in this. Now, psyllium husk usually makes everything purple and very spongy. Whoa. Which this is this very, is very spongy. spongy. Smells like banana. I don't taste the banana. Okay. More banana. That's number one. It's not bad. Not bad. It needs more banana. It definitely tastes diety. Yeah, it does. Okay. The bin so I'm gonna tell you what here. I need to put a little on your tongue. I don't know if you've ever had this. When I was a kid, a little bit of a trigger thing. You're already out. I used to eat like banana, like now and later's or banana taffy. That that's, is not the same. That's the taste I'm getting. It's a candy banana flavor. Oh, okay, flavor. yes. It's a candy banana flavor, but it's very subtle. You get it at the beginning, and then it kind of goes away. Mm -hmm. And it's it's more like a bread than a breakfast muffin. Like, yeah. It, 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 maybe with some cream cheese or something like that. It's, it's like a bread. It's not really like... I'm thinking cupcake muffin, like a banana nut muffin. It yeah, is it was, definitely yeah, not that. Yeah. Okay, so a package to make 12, 10 bucks. There you go. Okay, next up. Um. All right, I don't really like I don't really like peanut brittle, but curly girls candy hemp brittle. Wait, hold up. I, I'm we I'm, getting high. <laughs> <laughs> um, curly girls candy. Oh, I don't need to read that. All right, so you have two servings per container. So per serving, you have 130 calories, 12 grams of fat. 10 grams of total carbs, 6 grams of fiber, and tagatose? It's a type of sweetener. Is that sugar alcohol, yeah. though? Okay, so then that means there is two net carbs in this. So there's one sugar alcohol and three grams of tagatose, meaning that it's two net carbs. Okay. Ingredients are butter, hemp hearts, I'm hoping raw, they change your ingredients. raw shelled prebiotic fiber syrup, non-GMO, sweetener blend of tagatose and non-GMO, Erythritol, allulose, water, less than 2% of vanilla extract, baking soda, and cinnamon. Okay. I mean, I'm not super thrilled with the ingredients. I don't like the tapioca syrup, this, the, this, the fiber syrup they're using. They're using a fiber for sweetener that's not normally my well, thing. I can see the hemp. I have, I've had, I don't think I've had the hemp brittle. I've had some of these before. It did actually raise my glucose when I tried it, but everybody is different, so try it on your own. It's maltitol free. I don't like peanut butter. Peanut brittle, so I'm out. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't like it in it in the first place. It's not as good as some of the other brittles they've had. It's got a little bit of a burnt taste to me. Yeah, I don't. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of peanut brittle because I'm gonna break my teeth. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a burnt taste, but again, I'm not super happy with the ingredients on there. I don't like fiber syrups in my products. Uh, Five dollars a bag for uh, that bag. That bag is a two ounce bag. The normal bag is ten dollars for a four ounce bag. Uh, are we gonna heat this? Ooh, up? pause. Yeah, I'm reading this one. <laughs> you just pulled that out of my hand. I did. Okay, smart cakes. We love smart cakes. What flavor is this? Lemon. Looks like is this, it looks like lemon, but I didn't know they had a lemon flavor. They used to have it's oh, just, it is lemon flavor. Look at that. Awesome. We've had these before. We have a coupon code linked down below. Ingredients are eggs, purified water, proprietary fiber blend, which is oat fiber, corn fiber, and flax, erythritol, whey protein isolate, olive oil, pure lemon extract, pure lime extract, pure vanilla, salt, cellulose gum, monk fruit, citric acid, spices, and herbs. This is why. Uh, we always talk about net and versus total carb because these are zero net carbs. So you have, if you eat the whole package, because there's two cakes in here, 76 calories per package, five grams of fat, eight grams of protein, 18 total carbohydrates, 10 grams of dietary fiber, eight grams of erythritol, making it zero net carbs, which means you could literally eat 10 packages of this, only have 760 calories, have, how much is that? Eight, what is that? 80 grams of protein, and yet have zero net carbs. Do you want a whole one or are you gonna just split it? I'll just it? split it. I love the packaging on these things. 
I feel like they need to be a little bit easier to get them out. <laughs> I'm making a mess. I see that. I clean my mess. What did you do? Sweep it on the floor? Yep. Oh, I dropped it. Oh my gosh, that lemon. Mm. That, that is good. good. That is good. Wow. Mmm. I've always loved smart cakes. Always this loved is smart cakes. I'm gonna say this. This is good. That is good. I think that, I mean, my fla favorite flavor was always the orange and they got rid of the orange. That's the new best flavor for me. That's good. That I've is had, good. I've had, I've had a decent amount of these by now. Mm hmm This is the best one I've had. Okay, so if you buy them without a coupon or anything like that, it comes out to be three fifty dollars per package. Again, we have a coupon code down below. What's next? I wanna eat that still. You can have the other half. No, I'll, I'll give it to, 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 to mommy so she can have it. Okay. All right, Palmini, Hearts of Palm Rice. I freaking love this stuff. We've it's, never had rice before. Yeah, I know, it keeps getting new ones. Last time it was like lasagna sheets, and then it was, la or last time it was n noodles. Yeah. Um, so there are approximately three servings in here. Okay. 20 calories per serving, zero grams of fat, four grams of total carbs, two grams of fiber, one total sugar. So that means it's two grams of net carbs. Okay. Ingredients are sliced har heart of palm, water, natural sea salt, and citrate acid. That's awesome. Good ingredients. All Are right. we just gonna scoop I'm just it gonna out? Eat it. We need a spoon, don't we? Yeah, go get a spoon. I'm gonna attempt to open this and not spill any of it. Let's see. Can I do it? It's like Dora the Explorer. Where did he go? Oh my gosh, he went to go get a spoon. He's opening the drawer right now. Whoa. Looks like this, by the way. If you if you want to see it, I'm totally just vying for time until he gets back. You're back. I was talking the whole time. Oh, you were? Yes. That's kind of rare. What do we got? I this, showed them already. This might be going with my dinner tonight since we're making the Mexican shredded chicken in the Instapot using chicken breast. All of these are good. That is good. This is good. And that's like not cooked. Mm-hmm. Cold. Good. That I is, love Heart of Palm though. That... That beats like all of the like. I eat this over cauliflower rice. I do not like cauliflower. I'm gonna eat all this for it's even. Do dinner. not eat all that. We're gonna eat that for dinner. That I'm is, all, I mean, the texture. Is, I mean, it's a rice mm -hmm. texture. Flavor is really good. Now I did go on their web. I'm gonna be ordering some of this, except for when I went on their website, it was like sold out. It's really good. Um, so the price on this is. Four dollars and fifteen cents per each one. You buy like a box of them. We are definitely ordering some of this as soon as we can find it. It's really good. Really good. Twenty calories per serving. I like the fact they're putting the total carbs in the front. Look at Four that. grams of carbs. Okay, next up. Your favorite. <laughs> Slim fast keto fat bombs. We've had these before. They're actually pretty good. I just don't like supporting Slim fast. The ingredients are dark, cho dark chocolate coating, which is chocolate liqueur, erythritol inulin, cocoa, uh, cocoa butter rather, soy lecithin, vanilla, stevia extract, and we have white chocolate flavored coating, which is a cocoa butter inulin, whole milk powder, erythritol, natural flavors, stevia extract, vanilla extract, boy there's a lot of ingredients. Then we have inulin, coconut oil, coconut flour, MCT oil, which is coconut, uh, soy lecithin, natural flavor, <laughs> and soy. Soy. And salt. Oh, okay. It says, say, oh, no, it, it says, because uh, it says salt, but look down on the bottom, and it says contains milk, oh. coconut, and soy. Okay. Is it a, oh, it's friggin' coconut. Oh, God. It's like, and you can see the coconut, too. Anthony doesn't like coconut. I do, I just, this doesn't taste good. People don't do coconut right. That's the worst one we've had. Yeah, I'm out. No, no. How much is it? $14 for 10 pieces in Target. You wanna know who did do coconut right? Who? The next people that we're about to show. Oh, you like Joe this Joe's, company. JoJo's Chocolate. All right. These, these people are really good. It's Raspberry Dream, and I freaking love raspberries, so we about to 
can get lit up in here. Okay, before you even go on, I do want to say, if you go to their website, because we've ordered it, be careful. Some of their chocolate is keto, some yes. of it isn't. So they have two flavors that you're going to look at, and you're going to like, I'm going to order this, and there's sugar in it. They only have two flavors that aren't, like, that and don't have any sugar, and this is one of this them. This is one of them, and the coconut sea salt one is the other one. Yeah. Um, in here, it's dark chocolate, pistachios, almonds, and raspberries. All right, so there are, and again, last time I knocked it for the serving size, but I'm gonna let it slide because I understand how big the pieces are. It's 3.2 servings per container. <laughs> I'll let it slide because I understand what's in here. Three bites is the serving size. Um, calories, 140 calories per serving, 14 grams of fat, 15 total carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, and eight grams of erythritol, meaning that it's four gram, four net carbs. Okay. The ingredients is dark chocolate, which is unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia, sunflower, leptin, almonds, pistachios, hemp protein, coconut oil, sea salt, and raspberries. Super clean ingredients. I really, hey, so now, yeah, I think it's funny too. Like either put nine pieces or put 12 pieces, but don't give me three and a half. They also have this in bars, but I like it in the bites because you control yourself a little bit more, you right? Go. So you eat this, like one of these is satisfying. So you can actually get 10 servings out of yes. this. Yes. Mm. These are so good. I'm gonna be eating that later. Right after dinner. I'm gonna make the argument though. It's a better, it's a better chocolate than chalk zero. But it is not and a better raspberry flavor. There's no ra I don't taste raspberry. No, I don't, you get a little bit of raspberry, but not a lot. Like, it's literally, it's dusted with raspberry. It's yeah. just dehydrated raspberries and then dusted. That's got a lot more raspberry flavor, but this is a better chocolate. Like, and it's cleaner ingredients. If you lick it, if you lick the top, it tastes like raspberry. Yeah. What's up? Wonderful pistachios. Well, I'm hoping there's only one or two ingredients. Pistachios and sea salt, so we're good. Um, oh, did we talk about the price of this stuff? We did not. $6.25 a bag. You buy it like a bag of like four or something, a box it. of four. And that's a lot. You get a lot in here for six twenty-five, and they're always having deals. Just make sure you don't buy the deal where you get all of the different flavors. Um, okay, so in this, the serving says it's a bag, 130 calories, 10 grams of fat, five grams of protein, six total carbohydrates with two grams of sugar, um, which makes it, what, four net carbs. Do we have to open these? No, I, we all know They're what pistachios, pistachios taste we all know like. Them. If you're going to eat pistachios, which are not the most keto-friendly nut because they are a little bit higher in carbs, um, and they do have a couple grams of sugar, if you're going to eat them, eat them this way because it'll take you longer to eat it because you have to take them out of the shell. Don't get the shelled ones. You're going to overdo it. Biggest problem with these is they're high in omega-6s. Uh, price on those, I do like this though because they're an individual serving and it's $1.20 a bag. So that's pretty inexpensive. What's up? All right. It's back. It's back. They have added it. They saw the video. I bet you they saw it and they- I mean, What video? Oh, I mean last, last month's- Last month's video, they saw how disappointed I was and they added this meat stick. I bet so, you. So you think the Keto Box is watching Two yes. Crazy Ketos and said, Anthony is disappointed. Didn't they say something on social media? I thought they said something. I don't I don't think they said anything about like, we're something. going to make Anthony happy with a meat no, stick. No, but they, they saw it and they were like- They have seen you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do we got? All I don't right. think we've ever had this brand before. Fire Creek. Okay. So beef and pork stick. Okay. Um, yeah, it's kind of just a meat stick. Serving size is a stick, 120 calories, 10 grams of fat, um, one gram, one one carb, one gram of sugar. Ingredients: beef, pork, sea salt, sugar, encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery juice powder, which is celery powder and sea salt, spices, garlic powder and onion powder, and collard beef casing. Okay. I, I, it's disappointing when they have a sugar, but I understand it's part of the curing process. I'm usually willing to forego it, but there are ones out there that don't have any sugar in it, so that's usually what I'm going to grab. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. We can, we can cut down the side. What is this? There's like a piece of tape on this. I don't want my tape, I don't want tape in my meat stick. Oh, you're, you're excited. Yes. 
You almost lost it. I did. Mm. That's like a good salami. They came back with one of the best meat sticks that they've given in this box. That is good. I'm going to say that they, they saw that video <laughs> and they knew it. That is good. This is one of the best beef sticks that I've had on this, from this box. Well, that's going to be the end of this keto box. What was your favorite product? Meat stick. Yeah. Really? I, it's always. Okay, really? if I had to pick something else, probably probably that. I'm, I'm going with this. Or this. JoJo's. I don't know. This was, this was a not a bad box. No. It was a pretty good box. I mean, there's really only one thing in here that I absolutely wouldn't eat, and that's the Curly Girls, just because I don't like fiber syrups. And the Fat Bomb. Yeah, but it's not, I mean, it wasn't great. I wouldn't go buy it, but it's not like got ingredients that I wouldn't eat it. Does that make sense? Like yeah. everything else I'm willing to put in my mouth. The meat stick was $1.50, by bills. the way. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's yeah, $1.50. 50. We forgot that. And again, you sometimes you can find cheaper, but this to me was the find. No, this was the best. That's the best. Okay, well, that's going to be the end of today's video. And if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Now, whether you go that way or you go that way, make sure you go this way. Click that little button down there. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell icon so that every time we upload a new video and hopefully rest Anthony does a recipe video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time, bye. bye.